Some people want me to bypass Congress and change the laws on my own. But that's not how, that's not how our system works. If, in fact, I could solve all these problems without passing laws in Congress, then I would do so. But we're also a nation of laws. That's part of our tradition. Well, he said it wouldn't happen and he wouldn't do it, but here it comes tonight. President Obama about to announce executive action on immigration, 8 p.m. Eastern. So what exactly are we getting into here to break down with all we know so far? Peter Johnson, Jr. Let's go to the W, Steve. We love the Ws. All right. Who is it going to impact? Well, it appears at this point, though we don't know for sure, it's going to imp impact the 3.5 million parents of U.S.-born children here five or more years. May also impact 2.8 million parents of U.S.-born children here 10 or more years. Also, perhaps 650,000 children who currently lack the protection of what the president has done before. Okay, so that's who it would impact. Now, from who to what would it do? That's another big question. We'll know at 8 o'clock tonight. Probably expand the 2012 Deferred Action Program, which allows millions of family members to get work permits. That's green cards here in the United States grant protections to people here illegally for 10 years, parents of U.S. citizens would likely qualify, and also allow businesses to recapture unused visas from previous years to make more visas available for foreign nationals. Could produce 200,000 new green cards under that alone. And then finally, allegedly increase border protection, an issue that so many Americans have been talking about for so long. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, from what to when, when would it possibly kick in? You know, the administration is mum on the implementation timeline as of now. But if the past is any indicator at all, it took uh, DHS exactly two months in 2012 to implement the first part of the immigration plan, deferred action for childhood arrivals through executive action. All right, so that's when it could take effect. What about what could Congress possibly do? Because a lot of uh, congressional Republicans do not like it. Well, there's a lot of congressional Republicans, and they're all over the place. They could pass a bill to supersede the president's executive action, which the president then could, of course, veto. Then the Congress could then override it if they have enough votes, or attach a rider to a government funding bill, which could end in a government shutdown. They could also sue the president, but of course that would spend taxpayer money, and we could wait months or perhaps years for a decision on that. Although the United States Supreme Court has in the past invalidated executive actions of the President sure. of the United States as exceeding his authority under the Constitution and under the law. And a lot of critics of the President are saying, listen, this is not putting a fine tuning on the law as it exists. Right. This is potentially invalidating and nullifying American laws okay. calling for the deportation sure. and detention of illegal nationals. I got another what for you. Yeah. What would make this legal? Well, you know, the president will say that it comes from Article 2 of the Constitution, and the Supreme Court has recognized the power of executive action. But the president, as I mentioned, does not have the power to nullify federal law or to act as a concurrent legislature. That's what the separation of powers is, is all about. The president does not legislate. And that's what a lot of people in Congress are saying sure. that he's doing exactly. We'll know tonight. Fox will have it all. And there'll be analysis all night and tomorrow sure. morning. Big, big event. Absolutely. Peter Johnson, Jr., filling us in on some of the details. Very nicely done. Good to see you. Thank you, sir.